Okay, so you guys been infected with this um, trovigo.com or Trovi. It's basically a browser hijacker. So pretty much every time you open up a new tab or you open up your browser, uh, this is, is your home page is going to be redu redirected to this Trovigo. I'm going to show you how to remove it manually. You don't have to go into the registry. You don't have to download anything. And um, yeah, so it's going to be pretty simple. And I'm going to show you how to do it on, first I'm going to show you on Google Chrome, then Internet Explorer, and then Mozilla Firefox. So first thing is first, for if you have, it doesn't matter what browser you have, the first thing you need to do is go into your control panel, go into your add remove programs. Okay, and then once you have this open up, now the thing is, you know, sometimes the uh, these programs have different names uh, and whatnot. So for instance, uh, you want to look in here and you want to find something like, uh, well, obviously it would be like uh, this Trovigo or Trovi. You also want to look look for something that may be called Conduit, maybe like Conduit Protect or Search Conduit. Uh, and also if you have any of these, these can possibly be like hijackers as well. If you have the word save or protect or even S-E-A-R, even search. So look at all these um, in the control panel. If you pretty much have any of these words, and it could be something like search can do it or search protect can do it, uh, just go ahead and uninstall it because uh, most likely it's, it's, a, it's a browser hijacker. And these days, these hijackers are, they're so prominent because you can even, if you download free software from anywhere on the net, even like CNET now or downloads.com, they bundle up with all this like free browser junk, browser hijacker junk. Anyways, once you uninstall, if you have any, if you have any one of these in there, go ahead and just uninstall it. Once you do that, you want to open up your Google Chrome. In top right hand side, you want to click, click on this three bar prong. You want to go all the way down to settings, and then several places you want to look in here. Okay, first place is going to be on here. It says set pages. Click on set pages, and if you see. Uh, Trovigo or Conduit or whatever, what you want to do is just hover over it and click it, click the X. Next step is right below that where it says appearance here. You want to click on here, it says show home button. Click on change here. And same thing, if you see anything else in here that doesn't belong in there, you highlight it, you click the X. Next spot, you want to go to search. Where it says right here, look under Manage Search Engines. Look in here. Any junk in here you want to do is you want to click the X. Also down here, which is other search engines. Do you have anything down here? You want to click the X. Okay, and now for the final last step, what you want to do is on the same page, what you want to do is scroll all the way uh, on the very bottom here. It says down here, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it says uh, show advanced settings. Click on that, and then we're going to scroll all the way down where it says reset browser settings. Now, you go ahead and reset uh, Google Chrome. Now, take note, once you reset the browser, all your favorites, uh, your history, everything is going to be deleted. It's basically going to pretty much be like a fresh install of Google Chrome. So anyways, push reset and close and reopen Google Chrome, and you guys should be good to go. Now let's move to Internet Explorer. Okay, so once you have Google or Internet Explorer opened up, you want to do you want to go into settings, go in the top right hand corner where you see a little wrench or maybe a three prong or three prong uh, bar depending on what version of uh, IE you're using. Go from there and then you want to click on Manage Add-ons under Tools and Extensions. You see anything? Uh, Trovigo or Conduit or anything you're not even familiar with, go ahead, highlight it, disable it. Next thing you want to do is you want to click on search providers. Any other stuff that doesn't belong in here, you want to like highlight it and you want to click on disable. Now the next step what we want to do is we want to click on the, um, the settings tab again, the uh, wrench, click on that. And this time we're going to go to internet options. And from here, I mean, obviously, you want to make sure your home page is not set on to um, something else that you don't want to set on. If it is, you can change it there. And then the last step, what you want to do is you want to reset your browser. You simply click on Advanced, and you look all the way down here where it says Reset. 
Now take note again guys, when you reset, you're going to lose your favorites. Your browsing history is going to be long gone. It's pretty much going to be like a new fresh install uh, without the other um, extensions and browser hijackers. And that's if you uninstalled it in the control panel too, because if you didn't, it can very well reinstall itself back into these browsers. So click on reset, close IE, and then reopen. Now we will move to Mozilla Firefox. Okay, so Mozilla Firefox, so what you want to do here is on the top left-hand corner, you see that little orange thing, and then what you want to do is you want to go down to where it says add-ons, click on add-ons. And then look here under plugins, make sure that's not in here anywhere. Anything else that you're not familiar with, go ahead and deactivate it. Then you want to click up here on extensions. Anything else you're not familiar with, go ahead and disable it or remove it if you can. Okay, next thing you want to do is you want to go into your manage search engine. So what you do is uh, just open up like another tab. And then once you open a tab, you'll see kind of like this, uh, it'll say uh, this little down arrow here. Just click on that and then it goes down here where it says manage search engines. Click on that. And then from here, anything uh, that doesn't belong in here, you can just go ahead and highlight it and click on Remove. Last but not least, we need to reset Firefox. And how you do that is you go up to the left-hand corner again, click that. We'll go to um, okay. I almost forgot how to get there, but yeah, click on the uh, the top left-hand corner. This Firefox orange button. Click on help and then go to troubleshooting information. Then once you're on this page, look to your right hand side and it says reset Firefox. Now take note guys, when you reset any browser, it's going to delete all of your favorites, all your bookmarks, all of your history. It's all going to be gone. Once you click on reset, close and reopen Firefox and you guys should be good to go. Now the thing is, if you guys if this stuff, um, <clears throat> this browser hijacker still reinstalls itself, then it's somewhere in the control panel. It's a different name, you know. It doesn't have. Um, uh, sometimes these, uh, well, a lot of times these browser hijackers, they'll jump in here and they'll come up with a different name, you know, instead of the obvious uh, Trovigo, it might be named something else. Sometimes it's the uh, the, the corporation that uh, that pretty much made uh, this browser hijacker. It could be something with a company name with LLC. So if you guys have need any assistance or anything, just comment on the bottom and I'll see if I can assist you. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.